guys! So I'm going to do a quick review on our Medela Swing Breast Pump. Um, I bought this for um, $199. Uh, and you can get them, you can even find them at Walmart. Walmart is a little bit cheaper. I think Walmart's $179. Um, and it comes with this really cute little bag. It comes in a bigger box, obviously. But um, I first thing first, loved the bag. Um, I like it because I can actually fit this inside of our diaper bag so it's not like I've got the diaper bag and a pump bag and you know all these other things so it just it's nice and small and it fits right in there. So it comes with the the motor essentially so this is the motor right so this is the motor right here it comes with the uh, obvious shield part, uh, the internal little part there, and then this part here. And I don't, I believe it comes with two of these. I also purchased an extra set and they were only like $11. Um, and then I also purchased an extra set of these just because I, one day I lost one on a user pop and it was terrible. So I've got extra sets of everything. And it comes with two of these shields as well. And then also a just a cord for plugging it in the wall, and then your tubing. Um, and then mine came with a Medela bottle as well, and with the the full bottle and the nipple and everything. And I think the new ones come with the uh, colic bottles or anti-colic bottles or something like that. Um, so that's basically all it is. Um, and what you do is, you, it's really easy to match it up. There's a piece that looks like a triangle here, opening that looks like a triangle. You fit that in there, just like that. This piece for the wall plug-in goes in this side. This piece goes into the wall. And then, that piece goes in there. And this is the Medela bottle, so I'm just going to screw that in there. So that's how it looks, um, just all connected, and then you pop. Um, so pretty much, I don't have too many cons about this. I, for this, I love the bottles. Jax likes the bottles, so that's a plus. Um, the size is is fine. Um, to clean, very easy. Sometimes I have issue getting this little part out, and then th there's a little flap that you have to be really careful to uh, clean right under there. So this, um, this little piece here, it's hard to get off when you're it's being used. But this little flap here comes right off, so you have to be careful not to lose that, um, and to also remember to clean in there really well. But other than that, there's only three parts here. Simple, easy. I like that better than the other one that had um, the flap was connected, but it just was like almost on a hinge. Um, so this is definitely a lot better, more sanitary in my opinion. Um, and the tubing, I've got a couple issues with the tubing. Um, it, after maybe ten uses, I found it starting to get condensation. I hope that I'm not blinding you guys, but so. There's quite a bit of condensation in there, uh, which is really worrisome for hygiene reasons. You can purchase these though, so I just bought a new one. Um, but I felt that was a little bit too soon for that to start to go. Um, and this is, yeah. Another thing is this piece that plugs into here, come, like it's, it's not very secure. It's, it's not in there very well. So I've got to be really careful to not you know, let that slip out because it's happened quite a few times. You've really got to hold it and almost have your hand right there. Uh, so that's not that great either, but I can live with it. It's, it's not that big of a deal. So um, I love the two-phase uh, expression that Medela has. Uh, their patented two-phase technology, I think they call it. Um, so basically, there's just four buttons on here. This one here turns it on. And again, it's not very loud at all. After I saw my review for my other pump and I was listening to how loud it was, I thought, wow, this one's not loud at all compared to that one. And then um, you can increase the strength 
and this is still in the first phase. So it's pumping um, like almost twice instead of one, so twice as often. Um, and then after I believe two minutes, then you begin uh, the letdown. So you can also push that button to trigger if your letdown has come earlier than that. So if your letdowns come earlier, you can just push that button and it'll go. And you can increase the strength until it flashes at you. And once it flashes like that, then that's maxed out. So a couple things. Um, oh, and it works on battery. That's how I'm using it without it being plugged in. It takes uh, double A's, I believe. Yeah, just four double A batteries, which is great. Um, I like that it has the ability to do that. That was something that was important to me because I have pumped in the car, etc. Um, the part that is slightly disappointing about that is that um, you can only go to a certain strength and like it doesn't allow you all the time to increase the strength so sometimes even if I've got brand new batteries in there and I'm trying to increase the strength it won't let me it'll just shut off then you've got to restart and uh, when you're pumping you don't want your pump to stop working on you so that's one thing but generally I just try my best to make sure that I have an outlet to pump at because I find the strength is uh, significantly increased so it's not the same performance when you have it plugged into the wall as when you have it on batteries. Just my opinion though, it's, it's supposed to be the same, but I found that it wasn't. Um, other than that, I absolutely love the pump. I love um, the difference that it made in my supply, in uh, you know, just my ability to be able to pump. It's just, it's been incredible. Um, I wasn't able to pump at all before, I had no freezer stash, and I bought this pump when Jax was like nine months old. and. Um, I've been able to pump, and now that I'm going back to work, I've been able to pump at work. So it's worked out really, really well for us. Um, and I, I have noticed a big difference in the quality. Even though it's Medela's lower grade pump, I've still noticed a huge difference over the uh, first year's My Pump that I had previously. So that's pretty much all. I just wanted to do a quick review because I know when I was shopping for pumps, um, I really wish I would have just sprung for at least the Medela swing, and, and I don't know why when I was shopping it was either like the pump and style or this one, because there's, there's a significant difference uh, in price, so I think this is a great option if you're just pumping, like I pump about once a day now, um, and that's all I ever really wanted to pump was, was once per day, so for a once a day pumper this is great, I think you could probably even do it a couple more times, um, but that's all I've used this for. I've had it for almost three months now and um, it's worked out great except for having to buy the tubing again which I mean it's not expensive it's like eleven dollars or something like that so not a huge deal. Uh, I like that Medela is sold at Walmart <laughs> because I'm always at Walmart or somewhere or Toys R Us or something like that and how you can buy these parts all individually uh, in case something happens to them. Um, and then they also offer different size shields which I found really helpful. Um, if this size doesn't work for you, you can buy, like this is 24, they've got I think 27 or 28 is the next one. Um, so I did purchase a couple of them to see what would work for me um, and to see if I could increase my pumping at all by that. Um, so it definitely makes a big difference. So that is my Medela Swing review. I hope it was kind of helpful. Feel free to leave the questions in the comments below if you have any questions um, and I will talk to you guys really really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.